Gut! Hey! Hey! Find the way up to the building's roof! I'll lower the crane for you!
you pretty amazing, братуха. That was crazy, блин. Those mutants are pretty hard. The villagers have never had a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, блин. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, huh? They were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, блядь. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Блин, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right. That huge hangar. That's a terminal, blip. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There... <laughs> Tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these ants. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away, blin. No, you can take the zip line down. And uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. Uh, 
But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too. <laughs> Nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast? Wow, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them? No, it's nothing. But you come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. Just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Woohoo, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently? I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there, bled, waiting for something. But I know they are bad news, you know? Villagers say people started going missing when the bandits come. Now you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. Well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead, I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at the train!
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
it for you. We have to tell the others that we found her, Sam. It's good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place... And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge humanoid robots. Stripes with nuclear up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. Nah, I'm being serious. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, let me be serious too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in, what, 20 years or so? Guard towers, patrols, buildings. Bases look like bases. Nothing like that around here. We have yet to see anything even remotely resembling one. But if we do, I'll be sure to go say hi. If I can still remember how to speak English. Uh, all right. D don't be mad. Do you guys really believe you're going to see any Americans here? I was hesitant at first, but now I think I'm the only American we're ever going to see out here. me, since we can always talk things out with you, Sam. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, 
We don't know what dangers lie ahead, but still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artem, please, let us come. I will be good. I will have with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit bugging Uncle Artem. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Wow, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Well, hi, Artem. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the trader's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the Stokehold. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dark. 
But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out and they're also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity. So, you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you will have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. You can exchange your weapons at my workbench here, Artyom. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away from the hotspots. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melody so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom. <laughs> <laughs> 